Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to The Rap Trap. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. If you have not, you already know what the fuck it is. Um, and this is... In hindsight, um, today I I, I want to come with the with the idea, um, because I think it's time that we get down to the bottom of what's going on. The fuck you that? So you can't hear the echoes. We gotta find out, or at least I wanted to find out. I made a post about this on Instagram where I said. I think what's going on with these rappers that are not about this shit that they talk about with 6 9 6 9 Triple Red, Lil Pump, Bad Baby, Whoa Vicky, just all these artists, these dream world ass rappers that Lil Xan, that talk about killing people, stabbing people, Drakes, uh, Glocks, 30s. Killing the ops. First off, I, I, I let it be known that the only people that actually have to be about the shit that they talk about is African Americans. Um, Kodak Black, Kevin Gates, NBA Youngboy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, uh, G Money, Fred O'Bain. But with these. Lil Xan, 6 9 so on and so forth, Lil Pump, they can say that they sold a brick. They can say that they got a damn uh, shot a motherfucker and they ain't scared to do it again. They gonna kill you with the pole. They always got the pole. They ain't, they ain't never lacking. Even, it, it's gotten to a point even where you, you got female rappers now. Um, that are in videos with guns. In videos with guns. Uh, what's the um? What's my um? You got a, a, a girl named Stunner Girl, and then it's a group named Bang Three. Um, it's two motherfuckers from Bang Three. Uh, Bang Three is two girls, Bando, and it's another girl. I don't know her name, but these motherfuckers is talking real gangster shit, and I, and I, I'm. I'm trying to find out how this is feasible. How is this possible that we can do this imaginary ass fucking rap? It's kind of like, you know, um, a bitch wearing weave, but a nigga can't wear a motherfucking, um, nigga can't walk around with toilet paper in his fucking pants or a cucumber or a banana in his pants. Like, nigga, you front like a motherfucker. What the fuck kind of shit this is? Hypocrite much? The fuck? Zero self-awareness. But I'm trying to see how it works for some and then it doesn't work for the others. Why do we as black men have to work so much harder than everyone else? Um, Everybody else gets to just come in and shit like that. And is that, is that what we doing? Uh, it seems like, and with this, this stunner girl, she's running both lanes. To where you would think that if you're going to talk this gun shit, you won't have to do the, the Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, uh, whore shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the case. You got to have a gun and twerking at the same time. You got to be twerking out the window and doing a drive-by. What the fuck is this? 
But what I said was, um, Lord Jamar, Lord Jamar said on uh, Vlad uh, a little while ago, uh, years ago, actually, when he was talking about this Eminem shit, um, he was saying the reason why black people don't relate with Eminem is because, you know, he talking about all the different ways he would kill his mom and have sex with her decapitated head and all that weird shit. Um, they had a they had a genre of, of rap music called horrorcore. You know what I'm saying? Where they would uh, uh, find out who can say the most horrific shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and just ghoulish, godless, you know, whatever. But that shit didn't last long. Um, and, I, I, and so in my head, I'm trying to kind of... Uh, Alright, so is that what they're doing now? It's like... And that's when I, I got my idea. Maybe this is some sort of therapy to these motherfuckers. Um, I'm just trying to find a reasoning behind it. Uh, whenever I have, whenever I see shit, whenever I think, I always try to look at shit from every possible angle so that I can be on top of what the fuck is going on. Let me see it from their side, no matter what um, is going on. So maybe this is therapy to, to them as far as, cause I'm trying to find out how the fuck can you say this shit and not be scared to come outside? You wolfing fucked up. Like, how was you not scared to, like, nigga, shit, let me make sure. No fear? So you can, you can say all this rough and tough shit and walk outside or, or and, and then, you know, get out the booth and, and go play video games and go be a fucking gamer? And that's why I say this, how the fuck, that's the, the definition of fucking being a caricature. That's the definition of making the fun of somebody. Nigga, am I tripping? At least with Glock 9. I I'm saying that's what the whole rap trap is built on. Having to live by this shit. That's the only way that people are going to fuck with you because you live by this shit. But then you got the motherfuckers over here that can just say it and everything's fine. So I try to make an excuse for them. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm forced to get So, I'm trying to make sense of it, and I say, the reason why is, first off, they don't plan on going around any blacks, and if they do go around any blacks, and I shouldn't say blacks, but they don't, they don't, they don't plan on going around any um, urban people. They're not in those spots. Um, and the urban people they do go around know that it's just a game. It's just play, play. Um, so what I said, here it is. They're doing it for therapy. The same way an artist would draw a picture of a, of a make a comic strip or some shit like that. And maybe uh, an abused kid at the house, he... You remember... Uh, there's, there's something where you're supposed to write down the shit that you want to do to somebody and then throw the shit away because that's kind of like a release. Like, it's kind of like that. Like, a motherfucker drawing a picture of him fucking a girl or some shit like that. It's like, it's art. You understand? Like, I, I'll fucking kill you if you fucking, I'll fucking if you kill you, I'll stab you and I'll stab you and I'll kill you. Fuck that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting this, this, this out. And in that, in that, Honestly, you have to, if that catches on, that's real, that's authentic. Because they're doing it for therapy, where it gets fucked up at. If a person is truly fucking stepdad keeps fucking, you would have to feel it. You would have to feel it because it's coming from a genuine place. The issue with these motherfuckers, like the motherfucker you just heard, Lil' Q, what the fuck is this bitch name? Little Kiyu, Little Kiyu, 
it's you've adopted the whole fucking persona of a street nigga. Not a street bitch, a street nigga. I ride around, did you hear what this bitch, and I'm not going there yet, I'm not going there yet, cause that's gonna throw me all the way off. If a motherfucker was trying to get something off his chest, I, I keep thinking about suicide, hate going to the stupid, but usually when, if you got those feelings, you go do something totally, you know what I'm saying, different. Like I'm gonna go out here and punch a tree, lift weights, uh, do MMA um, to, to release some of this energy I have. But when you go in a booth, maybe you feel like that's your, your, your place you release and shit like that. And if it was authentic and it was genuine, a motherfucker would have to fuck with it. But what these motherfuckers are talking about is going out and committing acts of violence against anyone who fucks with them. And they do not mean that shit. Do you understand? And this is what I don't like with them. If you go up to them like you would go up to NBA Youngboy and slap the fuck out of them, you're going to jail. This is what I'm talking about. It's not, that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what do we do here? What are we doing? I'm up. Why the fuck would you want to run up and just hit somebody for no fucking reason? That's what happens in this game. In the rap industry, that's what the fuck happens. When I don't like what the fuck you said in your song, I can actually come up to you and not only fucking assault you, but I can murder you over what the fuck you said. And that's the rap game. You're, ho you're held accountable for what the fuck you say. But these motherfuckers can come at Gucci Mane, Yo Gotti, name the most gangster rapper that you want, and they can come at them with no fucking repercussions. None. Because ain't no nigga brave enough to go fuck over a little white girl. Ain't no nigga gonna do it. Oh shit, that's grand great. Hey look man, we go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in at live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App, we got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that. If you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast Scullers, Scullers go for 10, the Me and Two shirts go for 20, the uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book, Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200, and those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction, and I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do, yada, 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 and we'll go to it. But I'm not doing it. Are you paid on Friday? Dog, I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on... Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. You're not gonna find that many street bitches that'll do it neither. So they coming in with a shield. See, seeing these little white boys do this shit, whatever like that, Mexicans do this shit, and not even Mexicans, and that they, they run this whole Dominican Republic shit. I, I, now, and you know a nigga told me that this little bitch, Kiyu, is obviously not fucking white? 
What's obvious about her? What's, what's obvious about her not being fucking white, dog? What's obvious? But see, that's the internet. That's what I'm talking about, dog. That's what I'm talking about. Just look like another version of Lil Baby. Uh, Lil Baby. Uh, fucking, um, Bad Baby. Whoa, Vicky. And you better believe, nigga, she got way more followers than you got. You, the rapper who been trying to do this shit for years now. Rocking out, doing all, you know what I'm saying, doing all the right shit, whatever. She got way more motherfucking. You, nigga, the nigga who got all the real street credit, way more fucking followers. Way more fans. Way more connections. Because when a, a, a record exec, Puff Daddy, I'm talking Puff Daddy, Buster Rhymes, fucking Timbaland and shit like that, when they see her in, per, in, in person, she can even start rapping. You know what they gonna do? Oh shit. Oh, I kinda like that. I kinda like that. They not gonna get offended. She gonna have some Dominican Republic people with her. Oh, and you know she's saying nigga. They'll act like that shit hot because little white girl acting like she black, that, that when the fuck ain't that gonna sell? Little white girl with a gun is cute as fuck. That's, that's crazy to think about. A little white girl can have a gun and talking about killing you with the gun and she still won't be looked at as threatening as a black man walking down the street. A black man with a suit on is more threatening than a white girl with a gun with tattoos on her face talking about what she gonna do with it. And so back to the point of it, you listen to this motherfucker rap, and like I said, it makes me mad because you think about all the fucking cause I'm rappers all day long. I'm dealing with rappers all day long. I right, hey man, I wanna get this right. You got this date open, hey, you got that date open. Right, let me check the music out. These people have I'm talking real fucking music. Man, how long you been doing this shit? This shit is going on twelve years now, man, just working, grinding. Mike got 5,000 followers. Mike got maybe a, a, a 200 fucking subscribers on YouTube. But you'll get a little white girl. This, this can easily be, like I said, I don't buy that. I'm telling you, dog. I'm telling you. A nigga shouldn't have to see a white girl say nigga and, and have to wait or oh, see a little white, because there's a little white boy named fucking Bobby Nice. I shouldn't have to look at this motherfucker and him say nigga and then be like, oh, is, is he a... That's a white boy, man. Because he get treated like a white boy. She get treated like a white girl. That's the same issue I had with Cardi B when she was talking about... Uh, she made a post recently about... Uh, oh, I, yeah, I speak Mexican. This stupid bitch don't eat, like, it's Spanish, bitch, not Mexican. But she told me, oh, everybody want to stop treating me like I'm black and all this shit like that. It must be nice to be able to fluctuate races. It must be nice to fluctuate races. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a motherfucker might fluctuate, um, um, uh, I'm ambidextrous, or I, I can, you know, go back and forth with my hands, or... Um, I can go from quarterback to wide receiver and shit like that. But to be able to fluctuate races, if I wear this today, I'm this race. If I wear this tomorrow, I'm this race. How nice that must be. And I guess I'm jealous. And then you have people say, there's these people in Dominican, bro. They're just the darker than you. And all this. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga, with that shit, man. This girl like a fucking in it everyday fucking white girl, man. And she, she's a white girl to me. But if we don't have no, let, let, let's say that too. If we don't have no issue with being called nigga, says Tom Hanks' son, then what is it anyway? What, what we, what we fussing about? 
selective outrage. It's just, you know, it, it's just it's just everywhere. But I, just seeing this girl rap, man, and hearing this girl rap, it did then she doing a duck face, just knowing. My trigger finger itching, I get so excited. So you a gangster gangster. Your trigger finger is itching. You get so excited when it's time to kill somebody. We told 30s, ain't no fist fighting. I'll slap a bitch cause I feel like it. So you violent, violent. This bitch will walk down the street and a nigga out this bitch passing out Bibles will get stopped before she do. She have a big ass bag on. And this motherfucker just said, I slap a bitch cause I feel like it. This nigga out this bitch passing out Bibles with a suit on. That's the rap trap. The rap trap is, Nigga, and this is the rap trap, nigga, but let's hit the black rap. The rap trap is, nigga, black man, uh, you're going to have to, nigga, till the field, uh, milk the chickens, uh, get the cows, run the herd, uh, peel the goddamn skins, and uh, pick the kind. You're going to have to do all that shit. Here come a goddamn white boy, white girl. They walk straight in the goddamn door to the Kool-Aid, to the lemonade. You gotta prove to these motherfuckers that you can work. But here come a white motherfucker, they walk straight in the fucking door. With black face on. This is black face. These motherfuckers make these clips, and after, as soon as they get done with the goddamn clip, they start, they bust out laughing. They bust out laughing. <laughs> They're gonna believe this shit, man. You heard what I said? I said, uh, my trigger finger itching. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you heard when I did that? But we don't we don't run these motherfuckers out, so it's just all good because you know why? This motherfucker will have somebody like Fat Joe up over. You know what I'm saying? One of the, one of them them niggas that we might respect, DJ Khaled over. Like, man, if we all together, we all got the same struggle. No, we don't, my nigga. I'm from the South. I'm from the South, dog. So, yeah, all that, you know, that's the shit called a view with some. I'm from the South, dog. So, it's different. It's it different, dog. We all got the same. No, no, nah, my nigga. It ain't. And it's reparation season, too. She. Everybody ain't got some money but us. I put the damn chart up there for y'all. This same motherfucker. You better look at this black women. You better look at that. This girl can tomorrow go to any college she want to. She, you think this bitch ain't gonna pull a Miley Cyrus on us? She. You better know she gonna pull a Miley Cyrus. Tighten her shit right the fuck back on up and take her ass right up there to a, a, a kid's Disney channel. You can't do that though, black woman. She gonna take them fake fingernails off, cover them goddamn tattoos, and be right there on fucking Disney. While your ass stuck down this bitch in every fucking job interview you go to, they gonna bring up your goddamn video where you were twerking out the window with a motherfucking uh, a, a gun and shit like that in the video. Y'all better look what the fuck going on, man. My trigger finger itching. What is this shit she just did? I'ma hit your block and play dominoes?
No, I'm a disbelief, dog. And I done seen this before. Just to hear say, I'm gonna hit your block and play dominoes. So I'm gonna go, the same thing Katrina was talking about, uh, make sure you go to conversation with me. Go look at Katrina Gill when she said, that episode where she was talking about the damn teacher writing down all the black slang. These motherfuckers is studying us and throwing in stimulants, trying to see what the, what the fuck we gonna do. This bitch said, I'm gonna hit your block and pay dominoes. So you didn't went, you know how white folks always be behind on everything we do. So you might get a white motherfucker coming down the street Bumping some Master P. Mr. Ice Cream Man. Mr. Ice Cream Man. Now what the fuck? Bounce, 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 fool. You know what I'm saying? That old shit. But they just rocking. I'm gonna hit your block and play some dominoes? Tell me. The last time you seen somebody play dominoes, my nigga. What's the what's the youngest person you seen play dominoes, dog? Why would you say that? The only reason a child would say some shit like this, my trigger finger itching. We got a 30s wing doing no fist fighting, slap a bitch because I feel like it. This is all. I'm, I'm, I'm a street nigga. I don't know what, how the fuck this shit go together, but this is what the fuck, you can tell by her body movements. She doesn't mean this shit. What the fuck was that hand move? I'm gonna play some dominoes with some niggas that will never fold. You mean like what Shotty said in the courtroom? We don't bend, we don't break, this is, we don't bend, we don't fold, this trayway. We don't fold. So you taking popular black words, you don't even know what the fuck is going on. With some niggas that's so solid, they will never fold. Them type of niggas don't exist for one, but it's niggas that say that shit too. Like my niggas ain't gonna the stupid ass niggas, but just to hear this white girl talk like this with this type of energy, and this is I be feeling the same way when I see a lame ass nigga do shit that I know he won't do in an area where this type of shit happens. You're she's describing a live ass nigga. A live ass nigga don't even do all the shit that she said in one day. That shit be stretched out in a, in a matter of maybe a week or maybe a couple of days. Nigga don't do all that shit in one day. You action pack Jack and a white girl body. If we don't start running these motherfuckers out of here, it's gonna be more and more and more. I told y'all when Bad Baby came in the game, we were supposed to stop that shit. But you, black girls, run behind this motherfucker. If they don't have you, they don't have any type of credit. But see, they have no validation. But you will go because they'll buy you some hair and some fingernails and some food. I'm going to hit your block. I'm going to go to a, the, the enemy block and play dominoes. Who you going to play dominoes with? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to go to the enemy block, sit down. Who, who got the who got the goddamn bones out here? Yeah, we're going to play some bones now. I'm about to get your ass. I'm about to Peter roll this big ass. Yeah. You don't know about these goddamn bones, boy. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Shit.
And that's what I'm saying, dog. Everybody got to be held accountable, dog. If you doing that art shit, say that you doing art. Man, I just do this shit as therapy. I'm just, you know, whatever come to mind, it just come. Or you say, nah, I'm really with this shit. Let it be known. Let it be known. Dog, if all you do is fight, man, don't be in no song talking about no fucking pipes and shit like that, like blowing niggas down. Pause if that what y'all say. Man, it need to be a lane. If you with this gangster shit, all right, this is what it is. If you just talking, man, I'm just, I'm just doing this shit for the art. Everybody mixing in one spot, shit get confused. And what we doing? But see, the issue be with these white girls, they come in and with the Iggy Azalea, uh, Miley Cyrus, they come in and they use us to fuck up. And then they can go slap up to whatever genre they want to. Iggy Azalea come from Australia doing uh, a kangaroo music. Here come fucking uh, Bobby Boucher. Fucking uh, the goddamn white boy. What the fuck the white boy name is? With the goddamn Daisy Duke song. He come from country music. Post Malone. He come from country music. They fail at the fucking real genre, so they're coming this bitch where they can just talk crazy. I'm just going, man, fuck that shit, man. I'm going to come hit your block and make some dominoes. Come around here, bitch, and eat me some chicken wings. Get a watermelon on the fry. I love fried chicken on, yeah, yeah. But it, 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 it's all good, though. Nobody got nothing to say. Nobody, we ain't outraged. That's all I'm at. We outraged. Oh, fuck it. All right, fuck it. It's all good. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. Fuck that shit, dog. It's all good. It's shit, they, they doing their thing. Anybody can say anything. Nobody held accountable. Whilst we're being taken to jail over our interviews, so they say. Over our Instagram post. Everything we say get used and held in court on us. But we just know that. Uh, you know they just playing around. They can't use that shit, man. They just playing around. I can't believe that y'all would even let a 6'9 looking motherfucker back in the game after what the fuck we just seen him do. After we just seen what 6'9 did, we should be like, no, hold on. No. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. All you gotta do is do something wild with your hair and act black, and we with it, man. We with it. Well, she game banging. I, I bet. I bet you she gonna. Yeah, I'm a, a GD all day. I'm GD, folks. Yeah, I'm cripping. And somebody gonna be behind this motherfucker, man. Hey man, look, uh, look, y'all, y'all got the wrong one. She really, she been with this shit, man. This is a white fucking girl, man. Just like that goddamn boy, uh, Daniel Hernandez, six nine. He was raised like a white boy. We gotta start making these motherfuckers be what the fuck they is. He was working in a pizza factory, uh, uh, recording and filming uh, uh, the child pornography. This motherfucker was playing around and shit like that, living a, 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 a easy, go lucky life. Damn, they make you respect Cardi B. At least she said, no, nah, I mean, because I think she just said some gangster shit too. Dog, I'm talking about this gangster shit. This gangster shit gotta be put where the fuck is that? If you ain't never been on this gangster shit, you can't talk about this gangster shit. Immediately, motherfuckers need to be checked. But I guarantee you, when she go to a radio station, motherfuckers ain't gonna ask her, so you really be doing that shit with them guns and shit? They ain't gonna ask you. Because it's all about this, I just, oh, don't, toe the line, don't do too much, all the man. Oh, don't do too much, folks, flex. Oh, no, we just, we, just, we just wanna keep on moving here. We just wanna keep our jobs. I bet Sway won't do it though. I bet Sway ain't gonna let her come through that bitch and just goddamn uh, get away with saying all that gun talk. Mm. 
bullshit, man. Bouncing and shit, man. They laughing at us, dog. They laughing at us, man. All this gangster talk from a fucking... She just a, 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 a rebellious little white girl. Just like them little white boys be rebellious so they listen to that. They got that rap music phase and shit like that. This bitch gonna straighten the fuck up and take that ass straight the fuck over there with uh, Miley Cyrus. And we'll still be down this bitch, man. We gotta take this rap shit back, man. Rap trap, make sure I hit the PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute, man. Love. It's 6 o'clock in the morning.